Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. Um, <laughs> today's video, I guess it's gonna be a little bit of a shop my stash, um, Easter vibes. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it shop my stash Easter vibes. Um, yeah, I'm just pulling some products um, that I wanna use and I'm gonna test out um, a new technique that I've been kind of playing around with um yeah so um let's pull that product and i'll be back okay so these palettes some of these are new so i think i want to use without being destructive oh crap i think i want to use this beauty bay palette this right here it looks like get it open yeah I think I want to use that so I'm gonna set that to the side oh what else what else what else I think I want to use my Nebula highlighter again <clears throat> I feel like I need to pull out a second palette though these drawers I got from Michaels and they are not Ikea drawers I'm gonna pull that out because I'm gonna be using some pink Oh, what else? Ooh, let's go ahead and grab our lips because I always seem to try to figure that out last. I'm doing, I have on me a pink shirt, so I'm going to do maybe some springtimey pink. I don't know. I'm gonna actually just stick with the gloss. I'm gonna grab this gloss and my foundation. I'm gonna grab highlighter. Oh, you thought I was gonna do my brows on camera? <laughs> no. Okay, let's get these lids primed so we can go ahead and get started. Hi. Editing Jay here. Um, I just wanted to come on and say, as I was editing this, I noticed that my brows look a little uneven. Um, I did catch that towards the end of my filming and I kind of corrected it um, off camera. So I just want to say, you know, don't be trying to call your girl out. Cause yes, I noticed that my brows were just, just a tad uneven, just a tad. Okay, back to the video. All right, so my lids are primed. Usually I would um, do one eye off camera just cause that's how I like to do it. But since I'm doing something different, I wanted to do it on camera so I could do both eyes simultaneously. If you notice, I do have my little like shadow shields, but I took what was like an extra piece off of one and I just cut it in half because I'm trying to create a shape that I've tried to create without the shadow shields and it just doesn't turn out. So now I'm gonna test out this little method and see if it works. Hopefully it does. And I'm using the um, blank canvas base today because I'm gonna be using some pretty bright colors. So I needed a nice bright base. So I'm gonna go into, we already seen me pull out this what is this? This Eye Bright Palette is from Beauty Bay. So I'm going to go in, what color am I going to go in with first? I'm actually going to go into, ooh, that is so pretty on camera. I'm going to go into this color right here. It's called Heat Wave. And I'm just going to start creating a little bit of a curve. Okay, so we got that nice and buffed out. Also packed on just a little bit where it's not a lot of that P. Louise base set. You can kind of see the disconnect, but it's not that bad. 
not that bad. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another blending brush and I'm gonna go into, what shade am I gonna go into? I'm gonna go into Just Peachy, which is right here. And I'm going to put that in my brow bone, but only this inner section right here, not all the way out. And then I'm gonna go in to a color that's just a shade down, which is Koi with the same brush. And I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my brow bone. Okay, and because I want to have a very deep crease so that I can, the cut keeps what am I trying to say? Because I want to have a very um, defined cut crease, I'm going to go in with a deeper shade. As I was looking through this nice little rainbow palette, there wasn't a shade quite as deep as I wanted it to be, so I pulled out my Juvia's Place, the Berries palette, and I'm going to go in with this top shade right up here. And I'm going to use another detailing pencil brush to do so. Okay, and I'm gonna deepen this up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just gonna pack that shade on. I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. Trust the process. I'm just going to kind of buff this out so that things start to blur. It's going to look weird, but trust me, it'll look better in the end. Okay, so the creases are cut. Jesus, they are so stark white, but it's exactly how I want them to look, so I'm happy. Um, I've discussed this before on camera, but this eye is shaped different from this eye, and as even as I can get them is what I try to do, but it don't always work out like that. It don't always work out like that, but I do my best. I promise, don't judge me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and What colors do I want to use? I think the first color I'm gonna go into is I'm gonna go into Make Them Wink, which is this bright pink right here. And I'm gonna concentrate that on the outer portion, like so. And then I'm actually going to go into um, Heat Wave again, which is that orange that we used previously with the same brush. And I'm going to kind to put that on top. And I'm going to take the brush and kind of buff those two colors into each other and just kind of get some blending going. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Okay, with the same brush, flip it over. I'm gonna go into, <sighs> do I dare to be so bright? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go into Strawberry Bonbon. Bon.
And then I'm actually gonna go into the white in this palette and that's what's going to be the last color i'm just going to get a smaller shadow brush okay so i'm actually going to dip into another palette this is the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette i'm going to take that shade i'm in it and I'm actually going to put that on top of this stark white shade, more so in the inner tear duct, but still kind of taking it upward. I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to take that darkest shade again, right here. And I'm just going to buff that in on my outer corner, like so. And this is the part, excuse me, this is the part where I take these off. You kind of see that shape it made? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but we're not finished yet. All right, so I just went ahead and peeled the little tape off and I just kind of not really rounded out my edges, but kind of blurred out the edges from the tape since it was really like a straight line. Now I'm just about to go in and do a really quick liner using my I mean candy y'all using my NYX um, matte liner and I'm not even gonna do a wing so I'm just gonna do a really quick thick line um, okay I'm back so um, as I'm going through this footage again and editing I just happened to see like once I was done with my eyes that there's like a little bit of like a hole of like it's almost like shadow is missing I don't know what happened there I don't know if I paid more attention to my left eye than my right eye um, but it's bothering me because I didn't realize I should have known that it was in the footage but I didn't and I really didn't capture it I really didn't see it so I took the pictures and then it was just too late I was over it um, but yeah so it is a little bit of a hole there and I really didn't fix it until after the fact so my photos were clear but you're gonna see it throughout the rest of the footage but yeah I'm just gonna point it out before you do yeah okay bye all right so I just did the liner on this eye and I just popped on some lashes and I straight up feel like my liner is uneven. I'm gonna fix that later. Um, but now I'm just gonna go in with my Inglot gel liner and this is in the shade 69, looks like this. And I'm going to smudge this under my waterline. And then with another pencil brush right behind it, I'm just gonna go into that Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to get that dark shade right there and smudge that right on top of that gel liner. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, so let's move on to the face all right so for primer today I'm going to use the elf matte yeah this is the matte putty primer oh, my baby's crying okay Ooh. okay sorry I had to take a pause for the cause heard my baby crying I had to go check see what's going on anyway so I got my primer on so now I'm just going to um, do a little concealer so y'all remember, so y'all remember when I did the video, and it's a very recent video, so you should, um, pretty much it's called a complicated flawless foundation routine, and I did like the lightest found uh, concealer all over my face. Yeah, so, you know, I adapted some best practices from that, and I realized that maybe not going so light of a shade, because it just made me look really pale and it actually like dramatically altered the um, color of my foundation which I hate it 
a great deal, but I do like when I use a shade that's maybe just one or two shades lighter than my own complexion. Um, I did test it out before coming on camera doing this because I ain't crazy. Um, because I feel like that gives me a more uh, natural look. Um, but yeah, you know, now that I, um, I'm done concentrating on the eyes, I can talk a little bit. What's everybody been up to? Happy quarantine day 3000. Um, happy Easter for those who celebrate Easter. Stay home, don't go anywhere. Okay, use Zoom. Everybody using Zoom, so use Zoom. Or Google Duo, or Skype, I mean, or FaceTime. There's options, folks. Keep your ass in the house. Um, but yeah, it's so weird, like with all that's going on and literally everything's on sale. Why is everything on sale? I heard Neiman Marcus is filing for bankruptcy. Well, it's not even I heard, I read it because I have plenty of time to read now. Um, but everything's on sale. And Ulta keeps dropping sales like every other day. Sephora still plans to go on with their VIB sale. But I heard like Sephora is canceled. Like Sephora canceled because they let off all their part-time employees which is really messed up, but you know, it, it is unfortunate. Like, I don't even know really what to say about that because they said they weren't gonna do it and they were gonna try to hang in there. But like, also could be heading down that same path. Like, you know, the businesses ain't open. I feel like they should have did like, like we have a craft store here at Hobby Lobby where they just like furloughed their employees, but I guess just like flat out firing you. Oh, and I heard they did it over a Zoom call, which is pedalicious. Like, don't fire me over video chat. Like, if that's the case, like, just send me an email. Give me my severance and let me be. Um, but yeah, everything's on sale. It's kind of crazy. Um, brands themselves are doing like their own little sales. Hoda Beauty has a sale on her site where everything is, well, not everything, but certain things is like 30% off. Um, for Sally is having their friends and family sale. Who else is having a sale? It's just crazy. It's like, we ain't got no money. I mean, I'm sure some of us do, but like, should we really be spending right now? I don't think so. Um, really person. But yeah, it's just interesting to see all the sales that's going on right now. My neighbor's car alarm is going off but it's right outside of his house and he's the lights on, so I'm confused. So sorry in advance for that noise. Um, ooh. Now this doesn't look as bad as uh, the complicated foundation routine test. I don't look at that. I'm not um, going that far out with it either. Um, anyway, but yeah, so that's just unfortunate. I'll be interested to see what, ev like how everything shakes out once this is over. Anyway, off the sad stuff, let's talk about the fact that everything's on fucking sale. Like, okay, one, if you wanna just go about your day like everything is normal, like, you know, keep some normalcy for us that like just love makeup, it'd be really easy to do because everything, and I do mean everything up under the sun is on sale, child. And it's kind of crazy. But I don't need to be buying nothing else. I don't need anything else. But the fact that there's a few things that I want that's on sale, it's very tempting, it's very tempting. Okay, I'm using the Hoda Beauty Foundation today. You guys see me grab that? Okay, this stuff is super fragrant. Man, I never, ugh. It 
This isn't necessarily like the best matching foundation for me, but what I noticed when wearing this foundation is that it does oxidize. So it once it oxidizes on me, then it becomes a very good match. And I don't need a lot. If I apply too much, then it starts to look really, really bad. So I'm really liking the eye shape. It's just not as winged out. It's like as two prior uh, makeup looks that I've done. It's more closer onto the eye socket, which is what I wanted. But when I was attempting to do it without like um, the help of like my little beauty tape or whatever or my shadow shields, like I just couldn't get it and I couldn't, like it was actually pissing me off. So I'm glad this actually turned out how I wanted it to turn out cause it's dope. It's dope, man, this stuff. Woo. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with my Shark, Shark? Tarte Shape Tape. And this one is deep, even though they, um, they both kind of look alike. So it doesn't matter which one I grab. I'm also gonna grab my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm gonna put that in the corner up here. Like so. And then I'm just going to, ooh, real artsy, real artsy. You're welcome. So what I'm not gonna do today is I'm not going to cream contour today. Um, I go through these spells where sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't, and right now I'm on the don't side of life, so yeah. Also, I've gotten really like super, super in love with using brushes. I used to use like my beauty blender sponge for everything and now I'm like madly in love with how like everything looks when I use a brush. It's not like I don't have all the detailing brushes under the sun. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and set my concealer with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Um, you know now that Hoda's website is like running a sale there's a small part of me that wants to place an order to get her baking powder too. But then it's like, why you need that much powder? Like why you need so many loose powders? I don't know, feels right. It feels right, that's why. One day I'll show you guys like my makeup collection and like where I film and stuff. Cause it is actually like, I mean, I could expand it if I want to, but like my little area where I film, it's pretty small because I also use this room for like, kind of like my office space. So it's a multi-purpose area. And now I'm just gonna go in. I was gonna bronze first, but since I didn't use cream bronzer, I'm gonna set the rest of my face and I'm gonna go in with my trusty Studio Fix powder. So today is actually Friday I'm filming this, but if this video won't be up till Sunday, that's why I'm saying like happy Easter. But y'all, I have been watching Locked Up, or was it Locked Up Wabash Extended Stay on National Geographic all day. I did not know they ran a marathon like that, one. And two, I didn't know this show was that like so addicting. And I don't know why. Like there's other things to be watching, but the show has just captured me and I can't look away. I'm gonna start off with Fenty's Coco Naughty and see if that gives me what I want. It's not really doing it for me. I might have to go in with a deeper one. I do like to use this for my nose though. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Bronzer 
and just kind of deepen it just a little bit. And then for blush, I as well keep it on the pink side and I'm gonna go in with my Ben 9 blush and you named it Vintage Rose. This is that Nabla, am I pronouncing that right? Oh, uh, whatever. This is that Nabla Highlighter in Truth. And then for my lip, I was actually kind of sharp and I'm proud of myself. For my lip, as usual, do I want to use this? I don't want to use this one. I lied, not as usual. I'm going to use a Vibes Lip Liner. And then I'm just going to go in with Dose of Colors Lip Gloss and just my tight. Ooh. All right, and that is the finish. Oh. All right, and that is the finish look, y'all. The next thing I'm gonna do though is wash my hair, cause these roots, these roots are telling the story. And I need to wash and retwist, cause uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this eyeshadow palette is a banger. This is, I didn't talk about it in the beginning, so I'll tell you guys about it now. <laughs> so much for our outro. This is the 42, 42 color um, matte bright eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay is located in the UK, but they do ship to the US. Um, they also convert the, um, convert euros or i think it's in uh, pounds so they convert the pounds to us dollars so you know how much you're spending um but this is beauty bay's actual like brand like makeup brand themselves and this is bomb stuff like i'm actually thoroughly impressed besides using the juvia's place for a darker pink um all the colors came out of this eyeshadow palette and they showed up beautifully and i only spent 20 dollars on was it 20 dollars I think it was actually less than that because it was like a coupon code when they were like 20% off or something like that. But $20 on all of this. And I do plan on doing another look where I use like the pastel greens and stuff in there. But I also have other eyeshadow palettes that I want to play around with. So, you know, I guess this was kind of a shop my stash, like old and new you've seen before but you haven't seen before but anyway um thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye